Yo, what is going on, guys? It's Brian Host here, Connor X Crash, and with just one day left before Tears of the Kingdom releases, the hype is so real that players who pre ordered the digital edition of the game can't stop trying to launch it. All of the chaos recently about Nintendo striking other YouTube channels and the new Zelda game getting late can finally start to quiet down so that we can enjoy what is anticipated to be one of the greatest games ever made. However, this anticipated game already has an update for it? For those who preloaded the game onto their Switch, if you were to go to the options menu for the software on the Nintendo Switch home screen, you'll notice that the game version isn't 1.0.0. It actually reads... 1.1.0 what this update adds makes the game not only run smoother but also makes it look even better not only that but the reviews for this game on metacritic are so overwhelmingly positive that it's almost right up there with its predecessor the legend of zelda breath of the wild by one point so if you want to stay tuned for even more Tears of the Kingdom and watch me play through it live on stream and even see my review for it coming out next month, make sure you guys leave a like on this video if you enjoy it and subscribe so you stay tuned on all Nintendo and Sonic the Hedgehog content that I create here. With that being said, we interrupt this program for an important news announcement. I'll be streaming Tears of the Kingdom live tonight at midnight. Now, what could Nintendo have possibly added to make this game look even better than it already does? Well, to be honest, it isn't something that's not common in the industry today. Have you heard of AMD FSR? Probably not. To put it simply, AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution, or AMD FSR for short, is a technology developed by AMD that is used to upscale a game's graphics from a lower resolution making the game run smoother and faster while also maintaining the quality of visuals. This is something that is used in almost every title for PC, such as Cyberpunk 2077, Microsoft Flight Simulator, even that one gambling game that we don't mention. Impact is so boring. Going into details, enabling this feature in games renders the image at a lower resolution, upscales it back up to the display's native resolution with a spatial upscaler, then sharpens the image in one pass and applies anti-aliasing as a final effect. Did you get all that? If you didn't understand a single syllable that I, I had just spoken, then let me break it down in the simplest way I can. Basically, it makes the games look better while not at the same time. The reason that I find it interesting that Nintendo decided to do this is because this speaks to me the Nintendo of old. I'm talking about the Nintendo that used to compete with Microsoft and Sony for things like who had the better graphics, who had the better console, that was before in the, the Nintendo DS, when Nintendo were attempting to pump out the best visually appealing graphics that were possible at the time. But that all changed after the GameCube when Nintendo des decided to stick with what Nintendo does best, making fun. Looking at this ups update, seeing Nintendo take advantage of technologies like this from AMD is kind of surprising to be honest, and I hope they lean towards this not only for the future titles on the Switch, but even in their next console as well. As for the reviews about Tears in the Kingdom, it's a smashing success, no pun intended. The reviews just dropped today as of recording this video, and with a Metascore 96 currently, that's one point below the Metascore of Breath of the Wild. It's a masterpiece, but not as much as its prequel. Does that make Tears of the Kingdom that much worse than the prequel? Heck no. Taking a look at the critic reviews, I could keep scrolling for hours only to see nothing but reviews with a score of 100. So let's take a look and read a few of these reviews. First one from Australian Gamers reads, Know this, at the very least, I get the sense that this is it. This is now the Legend of Zelda blueprint, and from here on out, we live in this version of Hyrule, and we couldn't be happier about that. This is both a true sequel and a hoisted flagpole on what this series is and where it's going into the future. Next one comes from PC Magazine reading, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is a masterpiece of a sequel that instantly joins the ranks of the best Zelda games of all time. Then another one from The Gamer reading, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is a masterpiece that not only equals what came before, it does everything in its power to surpass it. 
Even as it presents endless possibilities for me to indulge in and push my creative potential, it all comes back to the intimate gravestones or superfluous conversations that bring its world to life. Fading memorials and lone flowers cement the loss this the loss this vision of Hyrule has left, and my unpredictable path is determined to piece it all back together. And then the infamous IGN reviews this game as The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is an unfathomable follow-up, expanding a world that already felt full beyond expectation and raising the bar even higher into the clouds. Then Nintendo Life says that it's impossible to t talk about everything that makes The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom so incredible, and making many of those discoveries yourselves is part of the magic. It's almost impossible to overstate just how much there is to do in Hyrule this time around. Much like its predecessor, this is your playground for the next however many years to come, with a little sprinkling of that old Zelda fairy dust mixed into Breath of the Wild's formula. It's a glorious, triumphant sequel to one of the best video games of all time. Absolutely unfiltered bliss to lose yourself in for hundreds of hours. We can't wait to see what the world would do with the game. Then last, we have Screen Rant with a review reading, Anyone worry that there will be some fatal flaw that came to ruin what seemed to be a can't-miss Switch launch now can rest easy. Tears of the Kingdom is a monumental achievement, and it's going to be talked about relentlessly for years to come. I could go on and on with these reviews and recent updates Nintendo has made and announced for Tears of the Kingdom, but for now, this could be the best game that has ever released on Nintendo Switch, and dare I say it, Yet another masterpiece made by Nintendo that will leave its mark on the gaming industry for a very long time. I may be starting to over exaggerate, so I'll just stop talking for now and wait till until it releases. Now I know this was a short video, but I didn't want to talk too much into Tears of the Kingdom since we are literally one, not even one day, less than one day away from the release of the game so i didn't want to talk about too much but i hope you guys still enjoyed this video and i will be streaming tears of the kingdom tonight at the midnight launch yes i know a lot of you have school it's okay if you can't make it the vod will be there make sure you guys leave a like if you enjoyed some of the info that was here today and subscribe if you want to see even more content and if you're excited to um play tears if you're excited to play tears of the kingdom as well let me know in the comments below please let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll be seeing you guys in the next one peace out